Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you how to make a distance based landing animation. So if we jump from here, we'll do a little bit of a stumble. And then if we go up here to this really tall area, we jump from here, we'll do a, a little roll. Alright, so today I'm using the parkour animations by Quirt Nicole. You can use whichever ones that you want to use. Um, these are just what I'll be using today. And I've already got these imported here for the mannequin. Um, so what we'll do is we'll create animation montages for our land and our stu stu stumble. So this will be the roll and then this will be the stumble. And I'm just going to make this blend into this pretty quickly and blend out smoothly here at the end. Same thing for the stumble. And the only thing I would make sure is, since this uses a default slot group for the animation, in the animation blueprint of your character, just make sure you have a slot here so you can play montages, which this is already set up by default if you're using the third person template. Okay, cool, so now we can go to our character. And so basically how I'm gonna design this is anytime you go into the air we are going to set the location of our actor so to do that we're going to get on movement mode changed here event on movement mode changed this event basically fires anytime the movement mode has changed so when you jump it'll go to falling obviously and we basically do stuff here based on these uh outputs changing so just in case you have a parent blueprint that does something with this event, I would just make sure that you call the parent here, which I just do add call to parent function and connect these up. All right, cool. So all we're gonna need here is the new movement mode and I'm gonna do a switch, which it'll automatically do switch on E movement mode. This is basically taking this enum and we get different outputs based on the enums type so here on falling we are going to get the actor's location now you can either set well first let's just set this to a variable so this will be our starting fall location now you can either set this directly when you start falling or you can do a little bit of a delay so for example if you jump right as you jump so here, let's use the snipping tool. So this is the ground. Right as you jump, it'll basically get your location right here. Or we can do a delay and wait for our player to be at the peak of his jump. And then we'll set the location. So whichever works best for you. Um, I'm going to do this one with a slight delay. So I'm going to use a retriggerable delay. And point 0.2, let's do point 0.1. So falling, and then we'll uncompleted, we'll set the variable. So just go over this again, whenever our movement mode goes to falling, and we're using this to switch based on the output of this enum here, of our movement mode. We're gonna do a little delay, and then we're gonna set the starting fall location. And you'll see why we'll need this. So next we're gonna do event landed. So this is basically when we land on the floor. Again, if you have a parent that's using this, you can add call to parent function and connect this up. And basically here, we are gonna get the starting fall location and we're gonna get our actor's location. Now, both of these outputs here for the actor location and the starting fall location, we only want the Z because Z is up and down in Unreal, and we're basically going to check the the difference in these values. So to do that, we're just going to minus or subtract these. And this is basically going to get the difference in value between these two values. And here, I'm going to check if the difference is over 400. And I'm basically going to use a branch 
and this will be the condition of the branch. So then from here, off of false, we're gonna do something very similar, except we're gonna use 200. And the reason we're doing this is because I have the two animations, the roll and the stumble. And I want the stumble to trigger when you haven't jumped from very far, and then or from very high, and then the roll from a bit higher than that. So how we would do that is if the difference is over 400, we're gonna play and a montage. And this will be our roll. And then here, if it's not greater than 200, we're gonna go down to this branch and we're gonna check, but is it greater than 200? And then we're gonna to go to true and we're gonna do the stumble. And that's basically it and we're done. So now if we go into the level and we go over here and I set up this level, by the way, I made this two blocks taller than this platform if you're in the template. So if we jump from here, we're gonna do our little stumble. And then if we go up these steps, or staircase rather, and we jump on this, and jump up here, and then we jump from here, we're gonna do our roll. Thanks for watching, that's all. This video was made possible thanks to my patrons. I have a Discord server for fellow ambitious and experienced artists and game developers if you need assistance with your projects or just looking to hang out. Bye bye.